Everyone is finally here. What a view! Lovely for a faded reunion, isn't it? Well, we must be prepared for a fight. Regardless of the outcome, things finally seem to be taking a turn for the better. Mondstadt has really been going through so much recently. Huh. In the end, the solution to our problem was as simple as a traveler in a song. I suppose the Knights of Favonius may have played a part in it, too. Oh, we get it, Master D. Luke. Everyone, please step aside. I, the best wandering bard of the mortal world, shall begin my performance with the Holy Liar. in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. They are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now oh, he to, me. to deceive you once more. Our Beethoven. Let your wrath bester! Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! No! You! You were planning this all along, happy slave! Devolin! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic settings, watch the world tremble! Devolin. Barbe, Venti, please be careful. <laughs> You've known my true identity for some time now, haven't you, Jean? Though, I thank you for continuing to use the name Venti. How's the Holy Liar? Can it still be played, or does it need to be repaired? Unfortunately, I think it's beyond repair. No, we should make that Abyss Mage pay first. If we don't fight the evil at its source, then we can't save Devalon at all. In which case, I shall call upon Outrider Amber to track it down. No need. Why is that? I eradicated one not long ago, in one of the Four Winds temples. What? When? If you want to track those monsters down, then I'll seek answers from my contacts. I've got other means for getting the job done. <sighs> Do you look? Though he dislikes the Knights of Favonius, he protects Mondstadt in his own way. Oh? Why does our little Paimon sound so doting all of a sudden? <laughs> Wait for my word. I'll be sure to let the Abyss Order know that their blatant disregard for Mondstadt... ...will not go unpunished.
about the wide range of ingredients you can find in Mondstadt, and it looks like it's true! No, I'm a chef! A chef on a mission to find rare and exotic ingredients from all corners of the world! My name's Xiang Ling. I'm from Liyue Harbor. And you? Hello, my name's Paimon. Paimon! Why are you looking at me like that? What an exotic creature! Is it edible? <sighs> what a bummer. Can't eat it if it's your friend. You seem like good friends. I have a good friend too, called Guba. Isn't that the name of a Liyue snack? <laughs> Both the snack and my friend have a special place in my heart. Anyway, can you do some hunting for me? There's lots of game around here that would be amazing to cook with. I can't catch anything to save my life and I don't want to miss out. Uh, sounds like a bit of an ordeal. Don't be like that. Come on, I'll whip you up a tasty snack later. <gasps> Ooh, you had me a tasty snack. Don't worry, we're the bestest hunters ever. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your friend has already given me a response. I don't care how it's done, so long as you bring me back some raw meat. Great! Then I'll leave you to it. Deep fry with mushrooms? Ooh, and I wonder how well it goes with sign condensate. Paimon thinks she's forgotten about us. Uh, sorry. I got all excited thinking about new recipes. As promised, a tasty snack. Go on, try it. And tell me, are we your food testers now? Oh, gosh. This is delicious. Can you tell us how to make it? <laughs> sure! The only thing is I haven't written down the recipe yet. Hmm... I got it! I'll make another one now so you can watch. I'm sure you'll pick it up straight away. This seems pretty hard to make. It'll take more than that to learn how to make it. And we don't have a frying pan or any condiments. Come on, it's simple. We can fry on a slab of stone and cook using some boar fat. Build a stove from rocks. Use dry grass for kindling, twigs for firewood. Sweet flowers will do for sugar. As for salt, I found a load of rock salt in a cave the other day. There's still plenty left. <laughs> I just can't help myself when there's a chance to try something new. But I can't exactly bring my whole kitchen with me every time I leave the house, either. Give me a second while I get everything ready. Hey! What do you think? This is the boar's natural habitat. You can't hunt them here. You'll send them all running. We hunters know better than to kill the chicken to get at the egg. Oh, I get it. The freshest, best quality meat comes from free-range boars that grow up in the environment nature intended for them. 
It would be a major blow to gastronomy. N no, to all mankind. I'm sorry. I got excited and didn't think of the impact we'd have. <sighs> you should apologize to Draft. As our leader, he always stresses the importance of respecting the rules of the hunt. I'm afraid he is very upset right now. I made a mistake, and I should go and apologize. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cook up some more tasty snacks for you once this is over. Okay, don't worry. Paimon will remember even if you forget. Draft ought to be in Springvale. Let's go! Must be Xiang Ling. Sorry, Mr. Traff. This was all my fault. I heard the whole story. And now that you're here in person. Ooh, he's gonna let her have it. Please help me promote my meat. Huh? Sorry if I was a little brash. Let me explain. Springvale has built its reputation on top quality meat products, but this reputation is so far limited to Mondstadt. When I heard that the great maestro Xiang Ling herself was in Mondstadt, I asked Alan to send you over. Maestro? Haven't you heard? She's the one behind Wan Min Restaurant, that one-of-a-kind folk restaurant in Liwei Harbor. Her unique take on cooking ingredients is behind some of the best loved dishes in all of Liyue. They are very highly rated by travelers, too. <laughs> You're too kind. I just try to cook things that are cheap and cheerful. With a top-notch chef cooking top-notch cuisine with top-notch meat from Springvale, our reputation would spread far and wide. Hmm... I don't know... I only ever think about how to make tasty dishes. I never limit myself to specific ingredients, and I don't know the first thing about promoting anything. You use boar meat all the time anyway, surely. I can't see what the issue is. The issue is... What would you think if I added a bit of slime condensate? That's... <laughs> I mean, couldn't you add something a bit more normal? There's no such thing as normal ingredients to me. You can turn anything into a delicacy if you cook it in the right way. I will not stand for having my creativity shackled by what ingredients I can and can't use. <laughs> Food cooked like that is destined to be boring. Period. <sighs> well, since you feel so strongly about it, forget it. But it really is a pity. To apologize, couldn't you be a little more flexible? <sighs> it's one thing to apologize, but it's another thing entirely to change the way I approach cooking. Mmm, what's that smell? It's gorgeous! Hello! May I have a taste of your delicious cooking? <sighs> Sorry. I've taken all the orders I can for the next few days. The earliest I could put you down for is seven days from now. Is that okay? Wow! It must be delicious if it's that popular! Yeah, 
good point. Why does Draft want Zhang Ling to help when Springville already has this lady? Hmm. Maybe he feels that Mondstadt cuisine can't compete with that of Tavat's biggest business hub, Luya Harbor. But I disagree. I don't think my cooking is at all inferior to anyone else's. Well then, show me what you got. Maybe I could give you some feedback. Sorry, but customer feedback like, oh, that tasted good, is no use to me. If I wanted feedback, I would ask a professional chef. <gasps> Hang on. Are you... Sheng Ling? That's me! <gasps> it's really you! Well, I guess you do know what you're doing when it comes to cooking meat, then. As it happens, I have one of today's prime cuts remaining. So tell me, how would you cook this? That depends on the ratio of fat to meat. With this cut, I would probably roast it over a hot stone with a little salt, some joyun chili, and kingsin flour. Kingsin flour? But the melted fat would make the flavor of the flowers ten times stronger than when eaten raw. It would overpower everything. I know, that's why it's a garnish. I would never marinate the meat in it. I've tried it before. If you baste the petals in oil and then cook them with the right heat and duration, it gets rid of the bitterness completely and leaves you with a lovely crispy topping. Then throw in some joyun chilies grown at a high altitude where the low humidity and varying temperatures lends them a unique dry heat. The petals absorb the saltiness from the sea salt, the chili spice, and the umami of the tender, freshly grilled steak, while also adding a floral aftertaste. Uh, that's pure overkill! You're going all out on the trimmings and doing no justice to the meat whatsoever! Who wants to eat a roast when you can taste everything except the roast? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop arguing! <laughs> well, there's only one surefire way out of a cooking dispute. I declare a cook-off! Suits me. If you can't beat my cooking, it'll show that Draft was clearly wrong about you. All right. But if I win, you have to use my winning dish to promote Springvale. And if you lose, you have to add my winning dish to the Wanmin menu. With a caption saying, This special addition to the Wanmin menu is generously provided by Chef Brooke of Springvale. Meat expert. Hmm. It's a deal! I'm off to get ingredients. I will see you Wait! Wait! Let's try and catch up.
close. Have you decided what you're looking for yet? <laughs> of course not. Then how are you so sure of yourself? That's just my style. If I decided in advance exactly how I was going to cook something, there'd be no element of surprise to the dish. In the same way, if I knew what I was looking for before I found it, it wouldn't be a surprise. But that's so risky! Relax. This is how I came up with all the signature dishes at Wanmin Restaurant. Let's look around here. I'll let you know when I find something I like. Lotus seeds? Mmm, this could work! Okay, let's gather them! <laughs> this should be enough! It's not every day you come to Leeway. Let's keep looking and see what else we can find. but those little fellas pack quite a punch. From what I've observed, spicy food is a rarity in Monsat, so this will be perfect. Go and pick some. Get a good handful. I still feel like we're lacking something. It's missing a little... Boom shakalaka. Yeah, now that you mention it, it is a little boom shakalaka lacking. <laughs> Brooke may be a stickler for convention, but she is a talented chef nonetheless. 
There's no doubt she will source the fanciest quality ingredients. To win this will take a truly mind-blowing dish. Something like sea serpent salad, stir-fried kings in flour, or wild mushrooms in a rich slime jus. Ah, uh, a slime jus? <laughs> I know how weird it sounds, but I guarantee you it tastes incredible. I'll make some for you next time. <laughs> you won't be disappointed when you taste it. Although it looks a teensy bit gross. Never mind that. I just remembered there's somewhere I never checked out last time. My gut tells me that's where we'll hit the jackpot. Let's take a look! He's shivering. We need to warm him up quick. Make a fire. Hot soup would be even better. How about I look after him while you make him a nice warm bowl of soup? We passed a hillitro camp on the way here. There will almost certainly be a campfire there to cook on. Great. Be as quick as you can.
That is better. Thank you. That soup really did the trick. Yes. I was chasing a boar. And after chasing him all this way, he slipped into those underground ruins over there. I followed him inside, but ran into a cryo regis vine. It froze me instantly. When I woke up, I ran straight outside, but I only made it this far before my strength failed me. How big was it exactly? They do now. I'd heard of them before from others, but this was the first time seeing one with my own eyes. Yikes! We should definitely keep our distance from the ruins. It sounds dangerous. It sounds delicious! That's it! The missing ingredient! The icing on the cake! Calm down! Can we really eat a tree that's that aggressive? Only one way to find out! Let's go! <sighs> Off she goes again! Do not worry about me. I'll be fine. But you must stop her. She... 